Hello, I'm Karen Cage, CEO for RealComp, back again with updates and news. There have been many changes in our industry over the past few months, and some of these changes have been difficult to adjust to. I want to talk about what we are hearing and seeing regarding the recent NAR settlement and offer some thoughts and answers that may help. Before we dig into some questions, I want to remind everyone that the lead prosecutor in this case went on record saying they would be watching and monitoring how well NAR and MLSs comply with the new policies. As of August 17th, the MLS is prohibited from publishing the compensation that is being offered to the buyer agent on any listing. This means it cannot be included anywhere on the listing. So how do you, as a buyer agent, know what amount, if any, is being offered for bringing a buyer. You now need to get that information directly from the listing agent. It can be verbal, an email, or a text, and it must come from the listing agent or office. We strongly recommend that you get this information in writing. That's why we made the co-broker cooperation and compensation agreement for you to use. This agreement spells out the terms of any compensation that is being offered. This is for your protection and we highly recommend that you use this form or another one like it. Other questions we are receiving include the following. Is it true that the buyer broker must have an agreement in place with the buyer before the buyer tours the properties? Yes, this is a requirement of the settlement and this form is also available for you in Docs Plus. It's called the Purchaser Agency Agreement. What is included in the purchaser agency agreement. The main reason for this agreement is to outline the services that you, the realtor, will provide to your buyer. And it includes what you will be paid for those services. It is also important to point out that you cannot receive more compensation than what is included in this agreement. Can the purchaser agency agreement be modified after it is signed? Yes, if both parties, the buyer and the buyer agent agree, this agreement can be modified. Why do we need these now? The requirement for these agreements was part of the settlement. It is intended to help buyers understand what services they can expect and what the cost is for those services. Can the listing agent request a copy of the purchaser agency agreement? While the listing agent can certainly make that request, the buyer agent is under no obligation to provide a copy of this agreement. If asked, perhaps you could explain by saying, I appreciate that you would like to see the agreement, however it is between the buyer and myself as the buyer agent. Who is responsible for ensuring compliance with the new rules? The MLS is responsible, but really it falls to you to make sure you are properly adjusting to this new way of doing business. These are just a few of the questions we are receiving. Please make sure you use the resources that are available to you. Facts.Realtor has a great deal of information which you can also share with your clients. Please make sure you take a look. And RealComp has a lot of information as well on our corporate site, realcomp.com, under the support tab. Also, we have a great event coming on October 15th, RealComp's MLS Updates and Educational Forum. This will be held at the MSU Management Education Center, which is at 811 West Square Lake Road in Troy. It starts at 9 and will run until about 345. RealComp's attorney, Brian O'Keefe, will be there to provide updates on best practices and insights. He will also be available to answer your questions about these changes. And we'll also have presentations on cybersecurity in real estate, tips on using social media and AI in real estate, and we'll offer some RealComp Labs on our many software offers. Lastly, if you are attending the Michigan Realtor Convention on September 25th and 26th, please stop by to see us. We have some new things to show you, and we'll talk more about these things in the next video. Thanks for watching. We will get through this together. And as always, thank you for being a RealComp subscriber. We truly appreciate your business.